Hello, it's Crafty Rhea, and I am so glad you are joining me today for another video. Look at all this bling. Yes, I'm so excited. This is really, really exciting. This is some bling that I got from L Beads. I'm part of their YouTube program, and I'm able to choose $35 worth of goodies from their website if I agree to make three videos. The first video is an unboxing, and then there are two project videos, and this is the second project video from this particular unboxing. I will link the website and all of the um, links to the products below and there is also a coupon code and that they graciously gave me and that will be in the link as as well that is for all of you to enjoy they have great customer service they have a great selection and they are just a really fun company so i ordered this pack of bling it tape it is these pieces of tape and each one is let me measure it it is 20 inches long each roll and they come in all of these great colors and even this multicolored one I somebody had sent me a piece of that multicolored one in some happy mail and I am so glad to have my own roll of it because, you know, of course, for me, one piece is not enough. I love bling. So I took the red and the green ones out of the little boxes because I'm going to use those today for Christmas goodies. And then the other product I have is this beautiful, very large piece of bling. And if you look closely, it is just little squares of bling and every other square is gold and then there's all the different colors in there. So we're going to use these products today to make some recycled Christmas cards, of course. So I had this bling out on my desk and I was going through some cards that I had and I came across this one and I just held it up to it and I thought it looked really good framed with this. So that's what we're going to do. The light's pretty bright. That's what we're going to do with one of the cards. The other card I picked for this is this one here because it goes great with it. The green, the red, and the gold, and this also has green, red, and obviously gold. And then the other card that I picked out to recycle is this Ho Ho Ho. I've, I have two of these in my stash and I don't know quite what to do with them, but I thought they went well with this bling here. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's go ahead and do that one first and then we'll play with this big sheet of bling. So this card here just about measures five by seven. So I went ahead and got one of my five by seven card bases out and I thought I would use it to mat that on there. So let's go ahead and cut the front of this card off. I'm gonna dim my light up there a little bit because it is glaring on my project. And I'm going to cut out the, um, the greeting on the inside. I'm going to try to get it cut out without that sticker on it. We'll see how it works. I think I can just barely, yep. made it without the sticker. So I have that for the inside of the card. I try to recycle as much of the card as I can. And I think I will go ahead and mat that while I have everything out. 
I'm going to go ahead and use this. Actually, I have a scrap piece over here. And that is going to be just about perfect for the inside. I will use my Elmer's glue. This is regular Elmer's glue all, the kind that you can get in any old store. Very inexpensive. And I put it in an old art glitter glue bottle with the fine metal tip. Now you can get these little bottles um, from Amazon or anywhere with the fine tip. And it really, really is makes the glue perform just like art glitter glue. If I didn't know any better, I would not know the difference once I use it. So there we go with that. And I'm going to go ahead and just stick that on the inside from the get-go since I have it out and I have my glue handy. I like to use glue, wet glue on construction paper. I think I, I have a much easier time than using tape. Tape seems to pull apart the fibers of the construction paper. Where I think the glue kind of just sets right down into them. So let's see how this looks on here. I'm actually going to trim this right side off a little bit. The card is a little dented on the side just from normal handling and since I'm taking a little off of one side I'm going to take a little off the other side just to make it even. I might have to take some off the bottom. No, I think that works out pretty good. The edges are even. I'm going to go ahead and use my tape runner and just add adhesive to the back of this. Make sure it's opening the right way. I should make sure I have my sentiment in the right place. There we go. And I will center this card here. And this one is going to be super easy. I'm going to run a piece of this tape along the top and a piece along the bottom. So I need to see where I want to cut it. And I mark it with my finger and just I'm going to cut it before I pull it off of the backing. And that's how that's going to go on there. And this should just pull off like a piece of tape. Yep. I'm going to turn the card upside down just so I'm closer to where I need to put the tape. And then I'm just going to stick this down. There we go. Super easy. Imagine putting all of those down one by one. So I have the red and now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to mark it with my finger where I want to cut. All right, and then this should also pull off like a piece of tape. Super easy, and you could cut off one strand or two strands or do it however you like. I'm going to leave the four strands there. And there we go. We have a blinged up card. Super fast, super easy. 
And in no time at all, we have that card. Very, very cool. It kind of looks like, you know, the neon lights on a letter board or something. That's really neat. Okay, so I'm going to set that one aside. So you can use this type of tape any place that you would use ribbon or something like that when you just want to add a bunch of bling, which for me is, you know, all the time. So then I have this card and an A2 size card envelope, and it is the perfect size for that. So I'm going to trim up this card first. And then I will trim out the sentiment on the inside. Because again, I don't want it to go to waste. That piece of scrap is not big enough, but I do have this larger piece and I will go ahead and mat it on there. And then I will trim it out. There we go. Then I will look at this and see if I need to trim it down any. What I was thinking with this background is to maybe have a border of three around the card. Let me zoom you in and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Have a border of three blocks around the card. I think that looks really good. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. So I could trim this down a little bit more, and I think I will, just so there's a little more card for that border of three to hang on to. So I'm just going to trim each edge. That also takes a little bit of the weight off the card. Not much, but a little bit. This happens to be a pretty thick piece of cardstock. And I will adhere this down to the base. This is an A2 size base. It is um, four and a quarter by five and a half. It's an eight and a half by 11 sheet of regular office supply cardstock, um, folded in half and then cut in half. And so instead of cutting out one whole piece, mm, well maybe, I could do that and cut out the center and have a frame. I might just cut off strips of three wide. Let me try that. This is not self-adhesive. I thought it was. I played around with it to try to get the backing off, but it is not self-adhesive. 
but it does have a very thick glue layer. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this. It cuts very easily with scissors, or you can use a craft knife. I've cut it both ways. I played around with it a little bit. So there is a piece that is three wide, and let me see how that looks. I think that looks really good. All right, let me cut another couple pieces off. All right, I think two pieces will be enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure where I want to make the cut. Then I'm going to measure it on this second one to make sure they're both exactly the same. All right, so I have my two long pieces here. And then I will put my two short pieces in between once I get the long pieces on. I think what I will do is put one long piece on and then measure up that short piece. I'm going to put a couple pieces of this tape right along the edge of the card. If I get too much tape on, it's easy to take the, this type of tape off. But I want a nice big thick piece there. And I'm going to put my first piece down. And I can rub my finger here and take off any of that extra glue that's sticking out. Then I will put this other piece down here and determine where I need to cut this, this you know, cross piece. Okay, so then I could line that one up there, and then I would line this one up this way. I want to try to make sure I have the gold pieces lining up properly, so the gold one is every other one. And then I'm going to turn it around this way and do the same with this. And that one will line up perfectly as well. So then we'll have that lined up like so, and that lined up. So that will work out absolutely perfect. So I want to put these cross pieces on first. I wonder if I could put the glue directly on this. I think I could. All right, so then I'm going to, I have to make sure I have it the right way to make sure my gold pieces are lined up. So they are every other one. There we go. And then the same thing with this piece. All right, and then we have this end piece and that will go right there. That came out perfect, I love it. Okay, I think this is gonna work. So I lined up corner to corner and then put the rest of the piece down. 
So you cannot tell that I cut four strands. It just looks like a frame of it. I love the way that looks. It is so, so blinged up in person. That is awesome. And then I have these two pieces that, of course, I will keep in my bling stash because those can be used for something else. Okay, I have the piece for the inside of the card, the sentiment, so I will go ahead and put some glue on it. I will say that this bling is pretty heavy. So on the large card, it might cost extra postage. So just if you're using heavy bling like that, just be careful. So for this one here, I chose the five by seven card in red and it pretty much is gonna fit exactly on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it as close to that fold as I can. because I would like to keep that gold border. And then I'm gonna cut out the sentiment on the inside. They did kind of sign the card pretty close to the sentiment. If you're signing your cards, do us recyclers a favor and leave a little bit of room <laughs> for us to cut that sentiment out. And that worked out perfectly. I was able to cut the whole thing out. So we have that. And I will go ahead and mat that one. I had it crooked, but my glue gave me just a few seconds to straighten it out. So that's good. I will adhere it down to the inside of the card. All right, then I have this for the front of the card and I'm gonna go ahead and just adhere it down, I will use my tape runner. I'm gonna put a little extra adhesive since it's gonna have some pretty heavy bling on it. And so what I do, my trick is since I could trim up any mistakes on three sides, but I cannot trim the fold, I'm gonna take the fold and put it down on the table, take the top of this and put it down on the table and line this up. There we go. So that side is always gonna be perfect. And if the other sides came out a little wonky, I could trim them but I think this came out okay. This side shows a little tiny bit of the card, so maybe I will give that piece just a slight trim. And I mean just that much, just a tiny, tiny bit. It had a little bit of the card base showing, but the rest of it is fine. And through the magic of YouTube, I have already 
cut out some strips in various sizes. I have a piece that's four squares wide that I thought I would put on the bottom. And then a piece that is three squares to go across the top. And since there's not much room on the sides, I thought I would do two and two. So let me go ahead and do this four square one on the bottom. Let me see where I want to cut it. So there we have that piece. And then the three square one on the top, I want to cut it to be the same length. And then I have two squares for the side. Okay, so I'm going to, I have all of my pieces cut. I have my two sides, my top and my bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and start by adhering the bottom piece down. I'm going to go ahead and do that method where I put the tape right on the gems. And I'm going to carefully line it up within the lines here. Try to get it even on both sides. There we go. And then I will put this piece along here. If you have something like score tape or any other tape runner, that would work as well. I would imagine the wet glue would work also. And then I will do the same with this other little piece. very similar to the first card I did except I just have some different thicknesses on this uh, on this card and again I'm trying to line up my gold and my colors just to make sure the gold ones are every other square there we go and I will put this piece on There we go. So we have that one all lined up. And I love how all of the red, green, and gold come through on that. So pretty. It's so elegant. It, I love it in person. I think it shows up really well, much better than on the camera. I hope you can get a good idea of how it looks. And then the inside. And then I have, of course, some more of these scraps that I can use for another project. So we have those two cards made from this huge sheet. Look, I have all of that left over. This bling is so beautiful. I just can't even describe how pretty it is. It does not show up on the camera how pretty it is. And then we have this one using the bling tape. And all of these products are from lbeads.com. So please be sure to check them out and let me know what you think. Come back, let me know what which card is your favorite. And if you do check out L beads, let me know what product is your favorite. What would you buy if you were shopping over there? If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do click that subscribe button down at the bottom and then click on the bell so you're notified anytime I upload a new video. If you haven't yet joined my Facebook group, Create with Crafty Rhea, head on over there. I would love to have you join the family of crafters we have over there. Such a nice group of ladies. 
I'm having a Christmas card exchange. So if you would like to exchange Christmas cards with me, that would be awesome. Just send me a card. Make sure your return address is legible and I will go ahead and send you a Christmas card back. If I get your card late and it would be too late to send you a Christmas card back, I'll send you a winter card for, for January. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate you very much. And until the next video, you know what to do. Go get crafting. Bye-bye.